Hi there. In one of our earlier examples, we had seen the theoretical application of match formula with an exact match. Simply watching the video won't help. Practice will. So take the initiative. Get access to all my YouTube practice files from the description given below. Now, before we really jump into the practical application, just one loose end to tie up. That is, when do we use match with minus one or one? What do I mean by that? You would have noticed in some of the previous videos that when I start writing match, after the second parameter, the third parameter gives you three options. We had used only one, which was zero, exact match. We had not taken care of one and minus one. So at a theoretical level, how are they are to be applied? Let's take an example. Let's say there's a slab of uh, scores and I just have five categories more than equal to zero more than equal to 40, anybody who has scored uh, or touched more than 80, maybe more than 90 and more than equal to 100. Although it's a 100 marks test, but 100 is a cap. So all these numbers are being read as more than equal to. Now I want to find out if the score would have been 81, under which category would it fall under? Logically, it should fall under this category. Why? Because it says more than or equal to 81. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is what I should be getting. So I write equal to match, oops, equal to match, look up value 81, comma. For the time being, I am choosing only this data just to test how the answer is going to react. I'm going to press F4, comma. Now, since this is an ascending order, I'll be using one. Close the bracket, enter. So I'm getting an answer three and why so? because 81 has to be captured by the third value more than or equal to 80. Now for the time being, assume that the score was 79. Since it is more than equal to 40, but has not touched 80, it should be classified under two, one, two. So that's how it works. One is generally used when you have a data, which is placed in ascending order in the meaning of more than equal to. And with that, we are going to use match one. If you liked how we explained the logic behind the tricks, why don't you check out our entire library? Use the link in the description below. Similarly, if you had a data which was placed in less than equal to format. Now, instead of score, let me just put the age to help you understand this better. Had the age been less than equal to 100 or less than equal to 80 or 55 or 30 or 15, how would I want the input to be placed at? What sequence number? So I write equal to match, look for 81, comma, choosing the entire set of arrays starting from the first number. I'm going to fix it, comma. Since it is in descending order, the entire list, I'll be pushing for minus one. I close the bracket and let me see what I get. I'm getting one. Let's understand why. Since 81 is less than or equal to 100, but it has not touched 80 or any number below it, it is the first instance under which it has been classified. Now imagine if I put 80, 80, the moment it touches 80, it must be classified under second category. If I give 75, it still will be under category two. But if I give uh, 54, let's see what happens. So eventually as we proceed in our program, we'll see what are the practical applications of the zero, one, minus one, and overall where match can be used. As of now, the bottom line is match is used to find the sequence number, the position number, first, second, or third in a given set of one dimensional array. It never works with a two dimensional or table array. 